Hello everyone, I'm Don the Crown, and today let's talk about PvP. So the reset just happened, and the first PvP rewards just rolled out. I know a lot of people are really confused about how this works, so I just want to explain it real quick. Now, if you're not familiar with how queuing for PvP works, is you can go to basically any of the Proving Grounds entry boards in the entirety of the game. These are mostly found in major cities, or you can just click this Coliseum button below here. And if it's not here in the bar, try finding it down here below in editing. And you can queue for any of the different modes here. And so there is Team Deathmatch, where you can queue in group of one up to three, uh, and you guys all fight together. You can queue just Deathmatch, where it's, you know, one person versus five other people who are all trying to kill each other. Uh, there's team elimination where you fight one by one. And then you can also queue competitive, which is basically team deathmatch, but it's only solo queue. And there's a lot of kind of confusion about like what the difference between ranked is and the different tier rewards. And so if you press Alt K, up should pop this uh, PVP window that you see here. Uh, it should tell you what your current tier is and what your current rating points are, just kind of like where you are overall. Now, if you haven't PvP'd at all, this probably won't say anything, but the way that PvP ranks work is that there is kind of like an XP ladder system that's going on in Lost Ark. And so right now there's a whole bunch of people who have already started PvP for the week here, and as you can see, they're earning tier score. And tier score is kind of like these ranking points that put you on a ladder. And depending on how many you have, uh, compared to everybody else on your server determines how much XP you're going to get for the week. And the XP, you know, scales up pretty high. It's 78k if you are the top 0.1%, whereas the 0.11% will get 71k. And this goes towards your rank for the week. And so you can see right now that I'm tier 9. And uh, this required 42,000 experience previous week. So uh, I believe I had earned... Uh, the top 3% here last week. I don't know, actually, it hurt, earned top 1.1 to 3%. And that put me up here in tier 9 with a total of 53,000 experience. This is going to decay by 5,300, which is going to drop me down to 47k if I do nothing. And I won't get, actually get any rewards unless I actually PvP for the week. But if I continue to PvP, I'll climb up in the ranks. And you can see these go up and up and up with increasing amount of decay. So basically, this is like a the more you play, the more XP you get, which means the higher rating you get. Uh, in order to basically get the top percentile, you have to be playing a whole ton. Uh, and that's you know really depending on your server. So if you're on a super populated server, right now you probably have to play a lot, a lot. But if you're on a lower pop server like Ladon, for example, uh, I didn't really have to play too, too much to get in the top uh, you know, one to three percent bracket. And so that's kind of how that works. And these different ratings determine what you can buy at the shop, which is next to the board. And so this lady wasn't here before, before the patch that introduced the rated PVP. And this has a couple of different things. This page here, all of these are basically always the same. These are very similar to your compass or to your uh, gathering charm, which go on your character sheet over here. Uh, this just goes in this third slot and it's really just for like world PVP on islands or GVG, which we don't really have yet. So these really aren't all that important. On the next part here, we have a whole ton of upgrade materials. There's 13 freaking pages of them. And these are all bound, but you can buy this shop out on any character. So this really helps accelerate uh, having alts go through the system, especially the higher rating you can get. Now you might notice here that there's some things here that I can't purchase. This is because this requires that I reach the fourth limit, then the sixth limit, then the eighth limit, which just goes back to the uh, tiers that we were talking about before. And so, you know, starting down here at tier one, all the way up. Now you might be like, but Don, I just opened up my thing and it says I'm not a tier, I'm a rating. What the heck is that? So before you get to tier one, you're basically kind of doing like preliminary matches where you're supposed to be learning about PvP. And these matches basically are just like gaining you XP towards tier one. Once you've played enough, you'll get to tier one and start earning tier score. Uh, but those are just kind of like preliminary leveling up. You shouldn't be going against people who are like incredibly skilled or incredibly experienced in this realm. But uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes the matchmaking can be a little bit questionable. Uh, yeah, so like the, the higher up you go in terms of tier, <clears throat> the more upgrades you're able to purchase. 
And then uh, over here, you can see that there is two mounts that are currently available. And these, I believe, do expire once the second season begins, but we don't think that's going to start for the next like six months or something. And I actually have this first mount in Russia. It's like a blue mount. It has like a decent little space bar and it has a Q like wing spread thing. That's pretty cool. It's kind of annoying though. It plays music, but other people can't hear the music. So you can't even troll people with it. <laughs> and uh, it just kind of trolls you and like plays over your own music. So it's a little bit weird. Uh, there's different titles that you can earn as well. You, you can get different auras, which are basically just a thing that you can activate to make yourself like glow all terrifyingly. And there's also XP potions, which I think are really great for whatever your main character is to help push up their level. There's also like almost a bottomless bucket of silver coins you can buy. I mean, 5,000 coins of courage is quite a bit for 20,000 silver. But if you're really desperate, you're really desperate. And you could also go and buy from the bottomless bucket of card XP. And so these are the three different things that you can buy right now. And then at the end of the week, when you open up the uh, Alt K window, you'll see your weekly calculations. They'll tell you what tier you went up to, how many tier points you acquired. You can see here I did 30,000. This put me at the top 2.68% of my server, Lodan. And then what my previous XP was, what the weekly XP was, and how much decay I had. Now, if I click this button, it'll give me a brave reward for the week. And you can see what all of the rewards for the weeks are. So you can see here at tier nine, we're earning 1700, whereas all the way up to extreme, you earn 26,000. So the higher up you go, the more like uh, allowance you get from the system. And really this whole system is designed to make it so that people that want to PVP a lot, but maybe aren't like the best in the universe are able to get rewards. Now, if you're really interested in climbing up in ranked, uh, there's a whole bunch of rewards that'll pop out at the end of the season, but this isn't for a while. And you can kind of just hover over these boxes to see what you get. So like at silver and gold, you get a stronghold structure and platinum, you get an exclusive mount. Uh, and then I believe it just keeps going up and up and up. Uh, you get a title at diamond, you get 3000 blue crystals, a aura, which I think you have to click and activate. And then 10,000 crystals for basically the top 30 players. I believe these are all by region. So in order to be a grandmaster, there's a lot more than 30. <laughs> oh no, that's 30. I clicked twice. Uh, yeah, so the, basically the top 30 are all the way up there. Okay, that's it guys for PvP. Let me know if you guys have any questions and uh, come by the stream.